Let's expand further on J. Robert Oppenheimer's early life, his contributions to physics, the international impact of the Manhattan Project, and the broader implications of his involvement in the development of the nuclear bomb. Early life and academic career J. Robert Oppenheimer was born into a family of notable academics and businessmen. His father, Julius Oppenheimer, was a successful textile importer, and his mother, Ella Friedman, was a talented artist. Growing up in a wealthy environment, Oppenheimer had access to excellent educational opportunities. After completing his studies at Harvard and the University of G. A. Tilda Pilkrotingen, Oppenheimer returned to the United States to begin his academic career. In the 1930s, he conducted significant research in quantum mechanics, neutron stars, and black holes, becoming one of the leading theoretical physicists of his time. Oppenheimer was known for his dynamic teaching style, his ability to explain complex concepts, and his charisma in inspiring students and colleagues alike. He held professorial positions at top universities and contributed significantly to the advancement of physics in the United States. The international impact of the Manhattan Project, the successful development of the atomic bomb had far-reaching international consequences. The United States' monopoly on nuclear weapons after the end of World War II dramatically altered the geopolitical landscape and ushered in the era of the nuclear arms race. The Soviet Union, which had been an ally of the United States during the war, soon developed its own atomic bomb, followed by other countries seeking to acquire nuclear capabilities. This led to increased tension during the Cold War between the two superpowers, the United States and the Soviet Union, as well as concerns about the proliferation of nuclear weapons to other nations. Oppenheimer's advocacy for international control of atomic energy and nuclear disarmament played a significant role in shaping the post-war world. His efforts, along with those of other scientists and policymakers, contributed to the creation of the Baruch Plan in 1946. The plan proposed international control of nuclear energy and the elimination of nuclear weapons, but it faced opposition and was ultimately not implemented. In addition to his academic and scientific achievements, J. Robert Oppenheimer's personal life was marked by intellectual curiosity, cultural interests, and a diverse range of friendships. He was known to be an avid reader with a deep appreciation for literature, philosophy, and the arts. His intellectual pursuits extended beyond physics, and he engaged in discussions with writers, artists, and scholars from various fields, fostering a stimulating intellectual atmosphere. Oppenheimer's cultural interests were evident in his associations with prominent figures in the arts and literature, including the poet Wallace Stevens, novelist John Dos Passos, and artist Diego Rivera. These connections enriched his perspective and contributed to his reputation as a well-rounded and cultured individual. Furthermore, Oppenheimer's charismatic personality and exceptional communication skills made him a captivating teacher and leader. He had a unique ability to convey complex scientific ideas in accessible ways, making him highly influential among his students and colleagues. This talent extended to his role as the scientific director of the Manhattan Project, where he skillfully guided the diverse team of scientists and engineers towards a common goal. As the head of the Los Alamos Laboratory during the Manhattan Project, Oppenheimer faced immense pressure and responsibility. He balanced the demands of overseeing a massive and secretive research effort with the ethical implications of creating a weapon of unprecedented destructive power. Oppenheimer was aware of the potential consequences of the atomic bomb and the devastating impact it could have on human life. In fact, during the development of the atomic bomb, Oppenheimer and other scientists seriously considered the potential implications of their work. They drafted the Frank Report, a memorandum in June 1945, which urged that the United States should demonstrate the bomb's power to Japan in an uninhabited area to avoid unnecessary loss of civilian lives. This proposal, however, was not implemented, and the bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki occurred, resulting in significant loss of civilian life. After witnessing the destruction caused by the bombings, Oppenheimer became an advocate for arms control and nuclear disarmament. He recognized the importance of preventing further proliferation of nuclear weapons and sought to promote international cooperation to manage atomic energy for peaceful purposes. Despite the controversies and challenges he faced, Oppenheimer's contributions to science, 
leadership during the Manhattan Project, and advocacy for international control of atomic energy remain influential and impactful. His legacy continues to inspire discussions about the ethical responsibilities of scientists, the moral dilemmas associated with technological advancements, and the pursuit of global security and peace in the nuclear age. J. Robert Oppenheimer's life was characterized by a combination of brilliance and theoretical physics, a deep appreciation for culture and the arts, and a strong sense of social responsibility. His dynamic teaching style and ability to inspire others played a pivotal role in advancing physics in the United States. The development of the atomic bomb during the Manhattan Project had profound international consequences, leading to the nuclear arms race and heightened tensions during the Cold War. Oppenheimer's advocacy for international control of atomic energy and nuclear disarmament reflected his concern for the potential dangers of unchecked nuclear proliferation. His life and work serve as a reminder of the intricate interplay between science, politics, and ethics leaving a complex and enduring legacy that continues to be studied and debated by generations to come. Broader ethical and moral implications, the development and use of nuclear weapons raised profound ethical and moral questions that continue to be debated to this day. Oppenheimer himself was deeply conflicted about his involvement in the project. Upon witnessing the first successful test at Trinity, he famously quoted a line from the Hindu scripture Bhagavad Gita. Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. This quote reflects the weight of responsibility he felt for creating such a devastating weapon. The bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki resulted in immense loss of civilian life and raised concerns about the indiscriminate destruction that nuclear weapons could cause. These events sparked discussions about the moral and legal implications of using such weapons in warfare. In the aftermath of World War II, the world came to realize the potential catastrophic consequences of nuclear war, leading to efforts to prevent the proliferation of nuclear weapons. The establishment of the Non-Proliferation Treaty, NPT, in 1968 was a significant step towards limiting the spread of nuclear weapons and promoting disarmament. Oppenheimer's Legacy and Historical Perspective J. Robert Oppenheimer's legacy is complex and multifaceted. He is remembered as a brilliant physicist and visionary leader who played a crucial role in the development of the atomic bomb. His contributions to science and his leadership during the Manhattan Project were undeniably significant. However, his later life was marred by the security clearance controversy and the impact it had on his career. The accusations against him and the subsequent revocation of his security clearance remain controversial topics in the history of science and government oversight. In the years following the war, Oppenheimer continued to be involved in various scientific and political activities. He served as the chairman of the General Advisory Committee, GAC, of the United States Atomic Energy Commission, ECH from 1947 to 1952. The GAC played a crucial role in advising the U.S. government on nuclear policy, including the development of the hydrogen bomb. However, as the Cold War intensified, Oppenheimer found himself embroiled in controversies. His past associations with left-leaning political groups and individuals attracted the attention of anti-communist forces in the United States. In 1954, Amid growing suspicions about his loyalty to the country, he was subjected to a highly publicized security clearance hearing. The hearing, known as the Oppenheimer Security Hearing, was an emotionally charged affair that focused on his political beliefs and past associations. Despite strong support from many prominent scientists, including Albert Einstein, Oppenheimer's security clearance was revoked in a controversial decision. This effectively ended his direct involvement in classified government work and had a significant impact on his career. The security clearance controversy had a lasting impact on Oppenheimer's reputation and personal life. Although he continued to be an influential figure in academia, his involvement in the Manhattan Project and the subsequent hearing became a subject of debate and controversy among historians, policymakers and the public. In the decades that followed, there were efforts to rehabilitate Oppenheimer's reputation and acknowledge his contributions to science in the nation. In 1963, President Lyndon B. Johnson awarded him the Enrico Fermi Award, one of the highest honors given for scientific achievement in the United States. The award recognized Oppenheimer's contributions to theoretical physics as a teacher and originator of ideas 
and for his leadership and achievement in directing the development of atomic energy from 1942 to 1945. Despite these recognitions, the controversies surrounding Oppenheimer's life and career persist. Some view him as a patriot who contributed significantly to the defense of his country during a critical time, while others see him as a tragic figure, a victim of political persecution during the Red Scare era. Today, J. Robert Oppenheimer's legacy continues to be a subject of study and debate. He remains a symbol of the complexities and moral dilemmas associated with scientific discovery and technological advancements. His contributions to the development of the atomic bomb and his advocacy for international control of nuclear weapons are still relevant as the world grapples with the challenges of nuclear proliferation and the pursuit of global security. J. Robert Oppenheimer's life was characterized by exceptional scientific achievements, visionary leadership, and controversial decisions. As the scientific director of the Manhattan Project, he played a central role in the development of the atomic bomb, which had profound international consequences. His advocacy for nuclear disarmament and international control of atomic energy attempted to mitigate the dangers of nuclear proliferation. However, his later involvement in political controversies, including the security clearance hearing, has added layers of complexity to his legacy. Oppenheimer's story serves as a reminder of the responsibilities that accompany scientific discovery and the ethical considerations that arise in the pursuit of technological advancements. In the decades following his death, Oppenheimer has been widely recognized for his scientific achievements and he is often portrayed as a tragic figure whose brilliance and moral dilemmas were intertwined. He remains a subject of interest for historians, biographers, and scholars examining the complex relationship between science, ethics, and politics during a tumultuous period in world history. In conclusion, J. Robert Oppenheimer's influence on the development of the nuclear bomb was immense. His leadership of the Manhattan Project and the successful creation of the first atomic bombs had significant global consequences, shaping the post-war world and setting the stage for the nuclear age. However, the ethical and moral questions raised by his involvement in the project continue to resonate serving as a poignant reminder of the power and responsibility associated with scientific discovery and technological advancements.